Hi guys, welcome back. So, this is actually my first time really out in the city. The city being New York City since I've been here. Okay, I'm trying to get oriented this way. All right, it feels weird, guys. I haven't been out in a while. I have not been out in a while. I've been like quarantining as I should, you know? Being a good girl. I moved back to New York City April 1st. And I've been staying in Best Guy. I was in Best Guy for three weeks and then I went to hang out in Jersey City, Journal Square, which is pretty much right outside Manhattan. Or outside lower Manhattan. And so that's pretty much what I've been doing. And it feels weird to actually step outside the house, you guys. I feel weird. <laughs> it's like it feels kind of surreal. But right now I am in Manhattan. I have to go run some errands. I gotta check my business mailbox. I have to go do some shopping. Some of the stores are starting to open back up. Some stores were already open. So, I got some errands I gotta run out here in Manhattan. And then I'm gonna go to Brooklyn. But it feels weird, guys. Everybody is wearing masks. I feel weird. I have like this makeshift mask. <laughs> I'm like, I can't breathe. They're like, you gotta wear a mask. Some places are like giving out tickets. I'm like, but I can't breathe. So I've been wearing my mask like this. I was like, I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. The whole mask thing. You know, it freaks me out. Um, but I'm good, though. I'm trying to make sure I'm going the right direction. Gosh, it feels weird. <laughs> How are you guys doing? By the way, so, man, it feels good because it's a nice day outside and the sun is out finally. Gosh, it was raining a couple days, several days out here. So you guys want to take a view? Take a look? Oh, I'm not going the right direction. Okay, so Target is open. CVS Pharmacy inside. But yeah, it's like, y'all, when I say it's weird, hi guys, hi, hi Dima, hi William, the mind. Man. Yes, the sun is beautiful out here. So, yeah, I've been quarantining since I've been here, y'all. I ain't been going nowhere. I can count the number of times I left my place and I would go to, like, this nearby deli across the street or go to the nearby um, health food store to get some ginger, things like that. But I've been following orders. I've been staying my ass inside and now... I'm like, you know what? I gotta check my mailbox. Because I got shit to do. Life goes on, right? So, you know, I'm gonna take care of that today. Old Navy is closed. A lot of the major department stores are still closed. But different stores are opening in waves. Different stores are opening in waves. So, it's a good thing, you know? We gotta get back to business. I might go buy a mask, like, I don't know. I'm not quite gonna wear it, though. I only wear it because stores are requiring people to wear masks before they enter. So I get it, but I've been social distancing. I've been keeping my distance. I noticed all of the officers 
are wearing masks when I look inside the police cars. Hi guys. Square. MSG. Man, it feels good to be outside. Gosh, I've been inside the entire time. It feels glorious to be out here, man. Woo! How y'all been holding up? So, I mean, there are some that aren't really wearing masks, like this one right here. Long uh, no longer on the railroad, the L I W R. Um, but y'all see, like I have my mask like around my neck, so in case they stop me, it's like you know what I can pull it over my mouth, but I can't breathe. It's like I need to have oxygen. The mask freaks me out, y'all. Like what about people who have anxiety? I ain't gonna lie, I do have it. I have anxiety, but I can I manage my anxiety pretty well. So people don't know I have anxiety, but y'all, I used to have panic attacks as a little girl, like in grade school. Like, I'm talking about full-blown panic attacks in elementary school. So I don't think they like really thought this thing out, talking about like, forcing people to wear masks. No, what about people who are claustrophobic? That shit don't work out. <laughs> Uh-uh, don't do that to me. So, but I'm good, though. I've been keeping my distance from people. Staying safe. Quarantining, as they told us to do. And now I have to go check my business mailbox. Exactly. William, what I told you about saying, hey, you? We don't say, hey, you, over here, Okay. We say greetings, sister. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> That's what we say. Where are you guys tuning in from? Where are you guys watching from? I've been eating pretty good too, y'all. Thanks to Grubhub. I've been ordering me some good delivery. I have a lot of restaurants. That's why I love New York area because there's plenty to choose from. Plenty to choose from. A variety. Sometimes there's so much to choose from, like, it becomes overwhelming. You're like, damn, what, what do I eat? Okay, I'm glad I just saw him with a pack of socks because that reminds me I need to get some socks. More socks. I got plenty of socks. I got, like, enough clothes to last for a while, but uh, I like fresh socks. I like buying new socks. Let's see, can I make this light? I can make it! Yeah, they have like officers all around the neighborhood where I'm staying at. They have like secret service. And I'm like, is somebody important on this street? So, somebody is like well protected. I don't know. There is me. But they had it blocked off where nobody can enter the street. Nobody can enter the street. So, I ain't getting my money yet. Kind of made me feel safe. And they had that like since I've been in Journal Square in Jersey City. I've been there for like a week now. So, I find that to be quite interesting. Hi, John. Brooklyn? William, you're in Brooklyn? I'm about to head to Brooklyn, actually. I'm about to go to this uh, natural health store. I got some things I need to get from there. Um, Y'all see this big ass freaking building? This is where I do business. Whoop, whoop. So y'all can see, like, life is slowly transitioning back to a sense of normalcy out here. I'm trying to anyway. I'm trying to. Oh shit, I gotta go to the other side. How they got 
got this, y'all. Holly got this thing now. So they have us going down here. Oh, right here. Okay, I was gonna say, no, it has to be open. There's some doors they have shut, closed. <laughs> Thank you. You're beautiful too. The Yorkers are so humble. All right. And, and it's not just ladies, it's men too. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's see what I got. I probably don't have shit in here, but we're going to see what I got in my mailbox. secured my P.O. box, you guys, the last month when I came here to do my onboarding process for my pre-doc internship. And I was so happy because they gave me a P.O. box number that it's easy to remember, and I'm not going to tell you guys yet what it is. I'm not going to publish it yet, but it's easy to remember, and it has my favorite number in it, number seven. some milk. It looks like I have. Maybe not. Maybe not, you guys. <laughs> At least not yet. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, I know who this is from. This is from my colleague. She asked, she, that came quick. She just asked me for my um, mailing address. That came really quick. What are you guys doing today? I guess that's a stupid question, right? I, I've like been getting really annoyed when people ask me that. What are you doing today? I'm like, what the hell is there to do? Everybody is quarantining. What is there to do? Not a goddamn thing. Ask me, what am I doing? But I guess there's something to do. Like, what, basic shit? Okay, go get food. You know, go, what? Run errands. <laughs> like I'm doing now. Oh. Wow, she's so sweet. Okay, I'm not going to read this now. I'll read it later. She wrote a lot. <laughs> She wrote a lot, y'all. <laughs> y'all probably saw my address. She wrote a lot. So I'll read it later. Because it's more personal. People are tripping out over that whole freaking coronavirus. I'm like, y'all making this shit worse. <laughs> like, calm down. It's gonna be alright. Calm down. A lot of us can survive a lot worse than the fucking coronavirus. And I think I'm overdressed, y'all. Hey, hey, my a lot of advantage at this thing. Yeah. Advantage. They are. They say, hey, they milking it. Mm -hmm. They milking it. And believe me, after this is all finished. Yeah. You know, see how the, everything is going up already, and it's going to keep going up. Mm -hmm. Take advantage. It's crazy. So a lot of prices have gone down, though, thankfully. like Really? Yeah. Like, and rental prices, like, for houses and mm -hmm. apartments have gone down because really? no one really is renting. So, mm -hmm. drastically. I mean, like, apartments that were, like, $2,500 mm -hmm. are now, like, $800 a month. Really? That's yeah. a big <laughs> But I don't know how long it's going to be that way, though, because right. so, yeah. everything is shut down, so they're trying to it's make money. Yeah. yeah, but that's mm -hmm. probably going to change. Mm -hmm. I'm overdressed, y'all, and this doesn't help. 
All right, you have a good day. You too, sweetie. Thank, Thank you. You, you too. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you guys later in Brooklyn. Yes, we do need to connect. They have limited doors open. I will be careful. I'm always careful. That's a given. That's second nature. All right, y'all. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm about to head to Brooklyn. Man, it is beautiful. It's beautiful out here. I love it. Smile, guys. Make the best of this quarantine, of this lockdown. It's always a silver lining in hard times, you know? Always silver lining in hard times. You got to keep your eyes open for it. But on that note, I will catch you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.